Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor. And I've done what I said I was going to do, which is a rarity. <laughs> I've decorated around this blacksmith. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, I've used some of the new features that we've got where we can actually put resources down. We can't kind of use them, but I think they kind of look good. The only thing is they can't be placed on top of like the roads or anything like that, much like you can with a bench. But yeah, so we have here a wood storage and an iron storage, both empty, which is very useful for the blacksmith. <laughs> It'd help if there was some in there. And I've put stone there. I know it's not iron, but kind of, yeah, it feels good to me. And I've used the new moss road as well for around here. I think it looks quite good. And as you can see here, I've used the one of the street lanterns. I've used the ghost object in this menu. So I can kind of stick it inside the building so it looks like they're actually attached to the side of the building. I think it looks quite cool. And same again here. Really, if it was a little bit lower, it'd be nicer because I like the idea that there should be one attached to the side there. But I think that doesn't look too bad. And also, I've done this little section of here. Now, I should probably do this manually and take the, the wall piece out. So you can actually see where he's walking, but can I put a fence on? No, that's a shame. <laughs> That'd have been nice. But yeah, so just a little added touch, and he's one of the new things. Another thing I noticed, when we're over here, if you watch, the people... Well, they're not going to do it here because I've fixed it with these. <laughs> but as they go around corners, you see they drop into the water. So if you go into into here and this piece here what it does is it they still drop but they don't go the whole way down so what you can do is you can place it in the corner like that it seems to instantly build as well see they do drop but they only drop onto that instead of all the way down so I it's, it's only a, a, a tiny thing but no, it's these little things that make a difference. So I'm going to chuck a few of these in. I don't think they work right next to a building. So if you're going to try and, say, put one on this corner here. Oh, it is letting me do it. It wouldn't let me do it in the marketplace. That's fair enough. So I'm missing a piece there anyway. one in there. So yeah, I'll just stop that <laughs> that bouncing. It won't be as bad as it actually is most of the time. One in there. That's, there we go. Yeah, I'm not going to do all of them now, but it's just an idea. I'm wondering if... Will it let me put one in here? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, that looks about right. Apparently you can place... Reading the little blurb that comes with it, or the tool tip, you can place as many as you want in the same area. I don't know if it makes a blind bit of difference if you place loads, but yeah. So that there's one one top tip for this episode. <laughs> okay. Well, food, you can see it's gone from one extreme to the next to having none to going through the roof with it, so I'm kind of happy with that. This is still here. I'm really not sure what its problem is. Oh no, that's going to get rid of my graveyard. But it's really odd that I can't get rid of it. I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to... Um, cancel, cancel, cancel. Yeah, so I don't know why it's doing that. Bit of an odd one. You don't need any of that. Okay, <clears throat> next thing. I'm going to start upgrading my roads to stone. Now, yeah, I know. I could probably go straight to brick. But... I don't really use up all my bricks just yet. We've got lots of stone. You can see all of the stockpile there. The original idea was to make stone statues, and I probably will as well, but we just need to kind of help them get around a little bit quicker. And seeing as I'm not really built, building a whole lot at the moment... Sorry, my voice is going really croaky, and I don't know why. <coughs> yeah, we're not building much at the moment, so... We may as well get them in. I think they're mostly stone down here, aren't they? Apart from around here. Let's 
Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just do it there for the moment. And we'll have a quick look and check in how we're doing with all this grain as well. Because it'd be interesting to see how we're doing. Again, this needs prettying up as well. So that's producing more this season by the looks of it. Cool, blimey, we've got loads of corn. I think John mentioned about making tinned soup. So I'll have a look at that in a minute. You see, I, what really frustrates me is that flour and corn is in here when these things are clearly closer. So I, it really frustrates me when they do that. Uh, stone, 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 there we are. I'll have a look at the uh, tin soup. So, um, yeah, it doesn't actually tell you what you'd put in there. I would have thought soup would have had like tomatoes and things like that. Now, depending chicken soup, you know, there's all kinds of soup, isn't there? But I just thought they'd have had quite a few. I might actually put this over here. Do we go for somewhere like here? I think we will. We'll put one there. And Tamsin mentioned about the fish and chips. Yeah, we're going to look at that soon. Let's grow some potatoes. We'll probably do that in this episode, actually. Right, that's all stone road. Again, stone road? <laughs> I'm making words up now. Stone road. So let's just do these last couple around here. Near the hammer in the way, I'm assuming that is the people doing the roads. Let's have a look. Come through here. So obviously the quicker these guys are gonna get around, the better it is for us anyway. And we do need to look at these buildings as well, the forges, and get some more of those in because we're going to get to a point where we run out of tin. I think we already have. <laughs> yep. So we switch that back to tin. There we go. Now this is making coke fuel for us. I don't know how well it's doing. Wow. Quite a bit. So we've stopped using charcoal and wood. But wood's still quite low considering. But we're just solely running on coal now. Which is quite cool. That was quite a seamless transition, I think, to be honest. And I'm sorry, I know this isn't the most interesting thing in the world to watch. <laughs> but it just reinforces how important it is to do your roads. Because you'll see the difference as people jump on these. They're going to go a lot quicker. Alright, I see. I'll put this one here. And we'll come along here and just do these last couple in this area and I'll, I'll do the rest later when I'm not boring you all to death with it. <laughs> there we go. Right. So, what have we got in here? Anything we want? Hemp, potatoes, we got peach. I might take the peaches actually. I'm not making much charcoal, so that's probably going to be the last of the charcoal, I would have thought. Oh. Okay. Do you know what? We'll leave that now. I'll, I'll figure that out. We need to start making stone statues, like I said. We'll look at that at some point. I'm just overwhelmed by the food. It's crazy. Right. Potatoes. Let me think about this. So this is going to be more town. So this can all be farm. Forestry now. We'll make all this a farm area. So we got our corn. Let's get some more. We'll need to put some houses out here, actually. Thinking about it. Uh, crop field. Let's see. Am I going to need any more corn? I doubt it very much. How big did we do these? 20 by 14. Maybe if I do some 10 by 7s, I need to kind of get my head around how I'm doing this. I'm just going to come randomly out of here and I'll make it work at some point. <laughs> okay, it's so a 10. I might be too small, actually. Why am I getting 10 by 7? Is my maths that bad? What size was that? Yeah, that would have been half the size. Ah. 
think, yeah, maybe 10 by 14. That might actually sound better. I don't want to make them too big. I don't know what the ideal size is. I know there's a lot of people that will talk about that. But. I don't know. Actually, we'll do 11 by 20. Okay, what we've got here. Now we're top. not in a kind of an emergency for food at the moment, so we won't panic about that too much. And we will put some more houses down because we definitely got the food. We're going to need, well, probably what I'll do is analyse where we need houses because no point me having tons here when everyone's having to like walk a million miles. Right. I can't remember how, did I, how big I did that field. Yes, Jake, I'm still kind of tripping up over my own tongue. I don't know where it is. I've been very tired recently. It's been a hectic time, so could be that. It's not alcohol, I promise. <laughs> kind of wish it was, actually. So I always get stressed out with crop fields. Right, 10 by 20. Let's see if we can do something with this. 20, 10. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything really cool with it, but... Ten. There we go. I don't think that's going to actually measure out properly. So this is totally unplanned. <laughs> Ten by twenty. I have no clue how that's going to look. Well, we still got that round here, so that, let's speed it up. Let's get the moving stuff along. Call this corn. I think I have literally gone overkill. Okay. We must have some tin coming through again because they've managed to source some to do this. Tin soup. Aha. So it does need different. Ah, oh, I see wheat. Yeah, I get, I, I get it now, but it's corn. Do we have corn? We do. What on earth would corn soup be? And what would it taste like? Who cares? Uh, one, two, three, because we've got more corn than I care to say. Right. Freezing cows, that's what we needed, but I've got no money in there to kind of purchase it with, so that'll have to go. There's nothing in there. Well, what we do need is rice to finish this thing off. Greedy people ate it. <laughs> that is really annoying me. Shock Puppet, if you're watching, what is going on here? Why can't I get rid of it? It's bloody annoying. See, it knows something's there. Oh, that would be the graveyard, I guess, but... Oh. That's going to remove the grave. Right, let's take the graveyard away. I'm going to finish this off while I'm here. Because... It looks like an eyesore. Right, there, so... What have I done wrong there? So... Did I say, I think I said in the last episode, I need to bring that out a little bit further, don't I? That could be what it was. Just hope it doesn't completely ruin the river. No, that's not too bad. I can live with that. I'm going to try my best not to use that flattening tool too much in this series because although it, it, it is useful, it, it kind of it makes it too easy in a sense because I can just flatten everywhere. I don't mind trimming things down here and there. Oh, there we are. Ooh, food. See, there's no point in me buying this. I'll have some rice if you've got it. God, it's got cows and everything. They're just... They're just teasing me. I cut us a little bit of everything in there. Do you have rice? Are you in alphabetical order? You are. So let's go down to... Oh, oh no, you're not. That's really odd. Okay. What the... 
<laughs> this guy sells everything. Except rice, by the looks of it. Quinces. Oh, rope. Rice! There we go, every visit. Alright, go away. What are we short of? Logs is low, yeah. Logs is always low. Why is that? My foresters are not doing a very good job. I need to investigate that a little bit further. So what we'll do is, as soon as we've got the workforce, let's just wipe out a load of these trees from here. Fuel stop now, so we've got firewood in there. Yeah, where is coal going? What is it classed as now? Because it's not going into the fuel stockpile. That's iron, so it would definitely not go there. It doesn't tell you one here. This materials under here, so it's not in there. Aha, it is materials. So we need to get rid of that. And we'll come back and put a materials one in. Oh, my game is saving. That tells you I've been playing before <laughs> I started recording. Because that doesn't usually happen. I need to finish this off, but they're starting to look quite cool. It's coming together. We've got a random deer here interrupting the wedding. Okay, so we got that. I wonder how much that's actually making. Jeez. It's quite a bit, considering I've only just put it down. Okay. So all my workers are doing that. I definitely need more houses, don't I? Right. The good thing about potatoes is I can make vodka with it as well, can't I? So we might do two fields of potatoes. Um, I'm just going to put one. Turn pickup off. Again, put down to one. Turn the pickup off. Because then, they hopefully, because it's not snowing here either, but they should get more of the crop over this. Although... I know they have things like hot crops, so crops that do better in hot temperatures, and I don't think potato is generally something that's kind of grown in a hot country. To my knowledge, it's usually colder, colder places. Okay, what else have we got? Carrots, herbs, broccoli. Let's do some strawberries. To pick up off. Not my most favourite of things. They smell nice and look nice, but I don't particularly like them. Although, dip them in Nutella, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll probably oblige you in eating them. The odd thing about that is, I don't like Nutella either. I don't know if I've told you this story before, but <laughs> I'm a strange person like that. It's just funny how you can't like two things, but you, you combine them and happy days. I've done that quite well, actually. Quite happy with that. Right, the question is, we've got these kind of nice houses over here. What houses do I give the farmers? Not that they've got a lot of land by the looks of it, but I could put a bunch of houses in a market over here because we have. So we've obviously got these colonial houses that I've been using, and there is different ones as well. We'd like different brick. I mean, that strikes me more country. But we've got the row houses. Okay. So we've got these ones. I don't I don't think. Nah. Definitely not. Well we got the country houses. Could definitely go with those. And did they upgrade to a fancy one as well, don't they? I think. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. If you have any input on that, please let me know. Because I don't want to use the same houses everywhere. Do some carrots. One, turn that off. Okay. Yeah. Right. Progress. I can't buy anything, so go away. Uh, can't do that. But I definitely think I am going to start with the stone statues. It worked very well for me in the previous series, so why not do it again? Statue carver. Is that a new bit? No, it's not a new model. So, one, two, three, four. Oh God. 
two. And we're starting to clear this through. That's going to give us some more logs. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it. So, until next time, as always, take care.